What does it mean to be a woman? What does it mean to be a girl? What does it mean to be a woman? What does it mean? Well, as Women's Month draws to a close, we ended off on a good note. Tula Eckhart is a born entertainer and studied music, dance and acting from a young age. She's a versatile performer and has worked professionally as a front woman vocalist, musician, MC, actor, dancer. The list goes on, I guess, here in South Africa as well as around the world. Her musical repertoire includes everything from sophisticated soft jazz to party classics with lots of audience participation. Tula has uh, just released a musical item called To Be a Woman, To Be a Girl. And she joins us now via Zoom to tell us more. Tula, great to have you on the program. Thank you, Blaine. It's so wonderful to be here with you. It's a great pleasure, especially as we wrap up uh, Women's Month, many would argue that women's, you know, it needs to be 365, right? Every day of the year, we need to protect, we need to treat a woman right. This song, though, holds specific importance for you uh, to tell a story. And you sang it during lockdown, by the way. Tell us more about this. This. Well, I became a mother about well, three years ago. And my daughter is just the most precious thing to me. And the thought of protecting her, looking after her, and giving her the best life possible in the time that we're living in, gender-based violence and all the challenges for children, um, female children and women, um, was weighing heavily on me. And I felt inspired to write this song, thinking about what it means to be a woman and what it means to be a girl. And what I came up with was that women need to stand together and protect our young, um, our wonderful, beautiful girls and allow them just to be free to be girls and to give them the, the support and the love and the safety and the safety to grow up without having to face GB and all the terrible things that so many of us are facing. Africa, but around the world. I mean, the pernicious scourge of gender-based violence is almost ubiquitous. Uh, you know, and, and when we look at movements like the hashtag Me Too movement, it's not a recent movement. This, this movement was started back in 2006, promoted by activist Tarana Burke, uh, and mainly to bring attention to sexual violence as well as harassment endured by women over the years. Have we made strides, though, as a society here in South Africa? And from what you picked up, talking to various women in, in South Africa, have we made strides and make a dent in trying to stop this, uh, this, this scourge against women? Well, that's an interesting question. And I feel that one thing we are making strides with is our a youth, because at the time that I wrote the song, I had the opportunity of teaching six incredible grade 12 girls who were doing singing as a subject. Six completely different girls, highly intelligent, gifted, incredibly strong, um, going ahead into the future with all the skills that they need to be a woman in, in the world and stand on their own two feet. And I believe that um, although there's still so much work to be done, that as a society, we are growing in terms of how we look after and support and teach and inspire and mentor our young women. And things like um, Take a Girl Child to Work movement a few years ago and so many things that are happening to make us 
make not only women, not but only young women, but women teenage girls. Teenage girls. That's to stand on that. That's to be strong. And together we and make together a network of strong women. And in the song it says, because you're a woman, you know just what to do. And I think that is and what we are making strides with in society. You say there's still so much work to be done. And I guess music is such a powerful tool to use in order to get this work done. What else uh, do you have planned with regards to getting the message across? Across. Well, I'm going to be spending quite a bit of time on uh, creating new uh, music and new opportunities for performing, platforms for songwriting for all of my younger uh, students that I'm mentoring. And I feel that the more we open this discussion, the more we talk about it, sing about it, perform about it, come on TV about it. And thank you so much for having me by the way, um, it all just helps us to grow and grow and grow a positive message. Thank you very much indeed for coming on. A happy Women's Month uh, to you and all the women around uh, South Africa. Thank you for, you know, putting the message across through the melodic sounds that you have and uh, hopefully it'll touch the hearts of many people, not only here in South Africa, but around the world. Appreciate your time. Be well. So much, and thank you for all of your effort. And thank you for all of your effort. And thank you for all of your effort. Right, that was uh, Tula Eckhart.